Lesson 7-4, a postulate for similar triangles. We want to prove two triangles are similar, so we can mess with the ratio of side to side, proportions of sides to sides. So how many angles do we need? Got a uh, triangle here, and a similar triangle here. And I happen to know that this angle is congruent to this angle, and this angle is congruent to that angle. Do I need more than that? Think about it for a second. You might want to pause recording. Now I'll answer it. Well, the three angles add up to 180. If you know this is, and I'm going to erase these in a minute, so don't write them down, 40 degrees and 50 degrees, you know that this one is... 90 degrees, which makes no sense. doesn't look like a 90 degree angle. And if you know this one is 40 and this one is 50, you would know this one is 90. So once you have two angles, you know the third angle has to be congruent. So all we need is two angles. We call this the angle-angle similarity postulate. If we know that two angles are congruent to another, we know that the triangles are similar. So if we had ABC over here and DEF over here, we would be able to say triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. And if we knew that we had sides over here of 2, 4, and 5, if we knew this side was 6, we'd say, okay, AB is similar to DE. Get from 2 to 6, we multiply by 3. Therefore, this would be 15, and this would be 12. So that's how similar triangles work. So my big question is, why is this a postulate? Here we are, seven units into honors geometry, and we're still dealing with postulates. I thought postulates were the building blocks back in the beginning, and we know everything now. Well, the real reason it's a postulate is the first time we view similarity. It's a new concept in terms of geometry. Yeah, we've talked about things being similar before, but actually making a proof with similarity? Well, it's new. So speaking of proofs, let's try one. You could try it yourself if you want to pause the recording. I'll do it right away. Statements and reasons. One is right here. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to be that lazy. I'll write it out. That's our given, of course. And now we're off to the races. Looks to me like there's an angle 1 and an angle 2. And we can say they're congruent. Hopefully you notice that's by vertical angles. And angle H and angle F are right angles. I suppose I should do... Angle H is congruent to angle F and say something like they're both right angles. Couldn't hurt, but I really don't think we needed that step. What we do need to say is triangle. I'm going to go HKO for the first one. Is similar, and be careful, I wanted to write a congruent there, to triangle FGO, and one of the best reasons ever, because it's only two letters long, angle, angle. Now we can write a proportion with the sides. And we want to write a proportion that we can turn into that in the next step. This is where life gets a little tricky. HK over FG, and I'm just pulling these off of here. 
and FG is going to multiply up there with KO. So I'm guessing KO has to be up here. Here's KO and GO. And that is uh, similar triangles are proportional. And last but not least, we actually write what we came for. HK times GO equals FG times KO. And you could write cross multiply, but I'm going to say property of proportions, meaning that I can cross multiply them and they're still equivalent. That's it. Try again. Recommend you try it on your own. And I'm going to do it. And you could write virtually anything you want for this reason. I wrote perpendicular lines form congruent right angles. Sounds good to me. All right. So I've got two angles. Here's my one angle. Here's my second angle. So I can say angle angle similarity. And I have to be very careful. A H R. And I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to write H. R A. You might see why in a second. You might not. H R B A F. That's angle angle. Now I've got to write my proportion. So I look at what I'm trying to prove here. And H R, this is why I wrote H R first. And that's going to equal HR lines up with BA and HA here and here, it's right up here, leaves only BF, HA, BF, and yes, they line up. And I've already forgotten what I wrote on the other page. Something about similar triangles are proportionate. Proportional, all right. And then what we came for. HR times BF equals BA times HA. Property of proportions. Done. Not easy. Fairly challenging, especially this area right in here. Lining it up and getting AA should hopefully not be too bad. Then lining it up to get the proportion right, that's tricky. Practice makes perfect. Good luck.